Well, yo, what's going on? Once again, this is Dan the Glassman over here at Gardena Glass Studios. And today, we're going to work on some demos here. I got a few videos posted up already with no uh, real descriptions or uh, instruction on what's going on with it. So we're going to start uploading some of these videos now, let you know what's going on with them. So uh, basically we're going to start out with uh, making some uh, mushroom pendants that are made with a 12 millimeter rod and some color uh, stringers that have been pulled. And then I'll show you how to do a double color uh, pendant as well. So, And uh, you probably want to shorten your rod a little bit. But I'm just going to go on ahead and work this like this here. And uh, we're also we're listening to Reviva, who's a local band here in Albuquerque, New Mexico. So check them out as we work on this. So I got this glass stringer right here. It's just a real thin piece of glass color that I pulled. The trick of the mushroom is putting the glass into the flame just so you're hitting the tip of it. You want to get the tip of the rod molten and you want to stab this solid piece of stringer, the color, into the molten piece. And the trick is, is to stay center inside of that rod. You don't want to push it out to the back side or out to the front side. And you want to get half or a few millimeters of this rod. You want to get molten just on the tip. And where it's solid right here, that's where it's going to, the color is going to get hit that part there and basically turn back around and form the mushroom all on its own. So we'll get this tip molten again. And then you want to get this stringer and go directly into the center, stab in, as soon as it hits that solid part, it turns back around on itself and it forms a mushroom right inside right there. So the color rod just goes right in until it reaches the solid part right there and it has nowhere else to go it turns back around and it forms a mushroom so now you want to hold it down at an angle go right above the mushroom cap on the rod right where the uh, the gather of glass and the rod meet right on that transition and you want to focus your flame directly on the top of that mushroom cap this is going to allow the glass on the bottom of the rod to get molten it'll start to fall on itself and it's going to pinch the air bubble out that's surrounding the stem in the mushroom the mushroom stem and you'll start to see it move it's already flowing so once it starts flowing you can put the tip of the rod into the flame more directly your flame is no longer on the mushroom cap it's on the bottom of the rod now and you round it and so basically that's how you get the air out and then how you round out the bottom. Now we're going to attach another piece of glass here which is called a punchy. It basically is just any other piece of glass. I'm using a tube here, a scrap tube that I've melted the end close and it's become a solid piece of, like a rod on the end of it. And that's going to connect to the bottom here. I'm just going to get the punchy molten attach it to the bottom of the mushroom and then I'm gonna put the flame right above the mushroom cap on the rod and I'm gonna hold it there and spin both pieces. If, as you can see the left hand isn't really holding the punty, it's just letting it float there and guiding it. All the weight's in the right hand and as it gets molten it's gonna start to fall and move around on you and that's when you know it's ready to pull. So you just get that molten and you just stretch it 
you give it a nice stretch to where you have about a good inch inch and a half and if you can grab it and twist it around like so and force that loop over you can just close it up a lot of times I show people how to just bend it in like four different increments and and do it like in a square or a box pattern where you be bend it here then here then here and then back over but this one you just bend it over and loop it and attach the end you just want to make sure you melt this little knob down that way that piece of rod is attached to the body of the pendant and that'll make sure you have a nice solid pendant not something real cheap and simple that's made like in China where they don't even close up the loop and then you just round up the, the whole loop up here just by heating up the whole thing you have your punchy ready and you start seeing if the glass will thicken the hole starts to get smaller so you just put your reamer right through there go on each side so you can counterbalance the the bend that you create every time you push it on one side the glass is going to bend to one side so then you can bend it back over grab your tweezers i always go into the loop i snap it off of my torch my torch is able to be you can bang stuff on it it's not like a uh, one of those aluminum torches that cost a bunch of money uh, which they're they work really well and they're real quiet but you can't do stuff like that and now I'm just uh, cleaning up the punchy mark. I snapped the punchy off of it, heated up just the bottom. And there you have it. It's a mushroom pendant real quick. Now to do a, a mushroom pendant that has two colors in it, what we'll do is we use the same color that we used for this uh, first one, but we're going to attach it to the top of a piece of white. And that way you'll be able to see that the uh, color is actually going to be the cap and the white piece will be the stem of the mushroom. So we just attach a little piece of color on there. And that's pretty much it. You can stretch it out a little bit so it's all the same as the white. Basically, that's you just attach a little piece of color to the tip of another piece of color rod, and then we'll just stab that inside of it, and it'll be a white stem with a blue mushroom cap. So we'll do the same thing. We'll heat up the tip of this. And let's see if uh, this will help you here. Right now what I did is I put a, a didymium lens from an old old uh, pair of glasses that I got here and I'm putting it over the flame that way you can actually see what's going on instead of it being all bright. So for the next video I'll end up uh, figuring out how to attach that on there. Alright, so I got that lens attached to the, the screen there, just got it propped up. I'm going to get this rod here, which is the white rod with the color on it. We got Reviva still playing in the back, Chris Brennan singing. I'm going to heat up the tip of the color just a little bit, that's going to help to when the color needs to start spreading out, it'll help it to spread out a little bit. And you just want to go directly in the center, get your glass where it's white, molten hot, where it's really wet looking and it's molten. You don't want to boil it though, so don't boil your glass. And once it's molten, then you just go right into the center, dab directly in the center, and just force that glass into itself. And then 
long as you hold your glass straight in and not bending it, you won't have any accidents with stabbing yourself, breaking the glass off and stabbing yourself or anything like that. Uh, so there you go. There's another mushroom pushed inside of there. But this one has two colors. I don't know if you can see it because it's still glowing hot right now. But we'll go back in. We'll go right on top of the mushroom. Um, focus the flame on the cap of the mushroom. So I'm going at this angle, pushing it in through the flame, and going to the top of the mushroom cap. And I have my, my hands are up above the flame, so the glass rod is angled downward, and so the tip of the glass falls down to itself. It'll trap the air bubble that's going around the stem of the mushroom. And once it starts falling, you'll be able to move your flame towards the tip a little bit quicker. Right now, it's starting to fall. All the air is getting pinched out. And I'm at the tip now of the pendant, working the dimple that's there. The air's already moved all the way down to the bottom. You just hold it there to get it rounded, and that's all it takes right there. So that's glowing hot, but that's rounded. There's no air bubbles in there. And then while it's still hot, this is what the best time that you can attach your punty. The trick with the punty is you get your punty molten. This is already warm enough. So you get your punty white hot, you attach it to the very bottom, and as soon as you attach it, you start spinning both hands and give it a little tug, the exact same way you would tug a piece of string or rope and get rid of the slack. You just pull it a little bit tight, Not, don't want to pull it too hard because you don't want to pull the punty off of it. It's attached that way where you have the punty hot or molten and the bead isn't so it can break off and snap off so you can clean it off later and because it can snap off it can easily fall off while you're working it so once you get the punty on there you go back right above the mushroom cap on the rod heat it up you get it molten and then you just stretch it and as soon as you stretch it you bend it towards the front or towards one way bend it all the way around and then bring that last little piece into the flame and just bend it right into the body and you attach those in just real quick just like that so then you have this little piece of glass right here that you want to melt off sorry if I was real loud right there I got real close to the mic and I always melt that down and I smash it with the reamer you just like touch it on the side real quick. Got to make sure that it adheres to the side of the body of the pendant. And then you just make sure that's all melted in. Start heating up the whole entire loop. It all starts to thicken. The hole starts to get small. Don't let it close on you. And make your hole just big enough where you can fit a piece of cord in there. Unless you're doing a custom order and they want you to have a bigger loop for a bigger chain or something like that and then you just snap it right off the punty it basically just breaks right there at the seal if you do the punty right if you heat the body of the pendant and the punty it'll uh, leave chips of glass on the end or take a chunk out of the bottom there and then you just clean where the punty mark is all I do is I usually just go to the bottom edge of the flame and the top edge of the flame so I can just heat it up on both sides spinning each each time just spinning my hand with the wrist turning it around and there you have it that one's still glowing that one is the double still got Reviva playing in the back my band Element 37 plays with them often this one here, this is the first one that I did, and it's just a uh, blue, blue color. Let me see if I can get a better 
better lighting for you here. And then the one that we just did is two colors, and it's just by adding the dot of color to another one. And as you can see, there's a white stem and a blue ring going around the cap. If you use uh, different color combinations, you can make them look pretty real. And, and uh, there you have it. How to make a glass mushroom in about five, five minutes or so. This is Dan the Glass Man.